Say hello to Barkley, the camp's comms specialist and the lowest ranking member of the team. Now, don't let his low rank fool you. He's far from useless. From his inventory to his locker die, Barkley's built for role manipulation. He starts equipped with two walkie-talkie tiles used for rerolls during camp events. One for attacks and the other for setbacks. So while he's limited at the start with the number of dice he can roll, this is offset by his ability to reroll. And before you start complaining that his two unlocked item slots are full, it's important to note that Barkley does have the ability to drop his walkie-talkies on the board when he wants to build or gain a new item tile. The benefit of this, anytime he or someone else is sharing a space with one of his walkie-talkies, they gain the ability of that walkie-talkie. This is where Barkley's locker die comes in handy. The walkie-talkie on his die allows him to pull a dropped walkie-talkie to his space, or if one is already in his space, allows him to push it to another space. This can greatly benefit him or his teammates when tricky situations arise. His intuition comes in handy during suspicious trades. Unlocking the skill for 3 XP allows you one reroll during any trade. And finally, Barkley's specialty deck contains a number of useful items, including Give Warning, which adds one action die to another player's roll, a hidden locker that allows him to reset or re-roll his locker die, access to a locker room that allows trades for XP instead of actions, and an insta-light for lighting bonfires with fewer than five items. And with the new frostbite mechanic, that bonfire is more important than ever. Barkley's ability to switch between support and offense makes him a great character for beginners and veterans alike. And you can find him in one of the two new expansions for Who Goes There.